In standards-based grading, we end up working with proficiency scales. It's important to help all faculty feel comfortable with the difference between a proficiency scale and a rubric. And as you're working through this process, the first year of using standards-based grading, we all mix them up, even after we've discussed it and after our training. Please be committed to being patient with yourselves as you struggle between what a rubric does and is expected to do and what a proficiency scale does and what it's expected to do. So let's go over them. A proficiency scale, if we remember, is actually a scale that we use to replace the 100 point scale. And all it does is it aligns the language of a standard so I can make a proficiency scale for a standard. And I identify what a task would have to be evidence of that standard. So I use a proficiency scale to evaluate tasks and to evaluate questions. On the other hand, a rubric is really designed to have very clear criteria of an expectation for a task. And so I pre-make a rubric and then I look at samples of student work. And when I'm looking at the samples of student work, I can say this student's work is a two on my rubric in terms of the criteria. So I would use a rubric to evaluate a piece of student work. That's the heart of the difference. So I would not want to mix up rubrics and proficiency scales because a proficiency scale actually goes down to explaining when a child uh, might be successful on a task that included help or when a child was given help but the task was still unable to be engaged with. So when we're working through these pieces in standards-based grading, we want to make sure we don't have to stop using rubrics, just use them only for either descriptive feedback on a particular task or event or evaluative feedback if that's how you're using your rubrics. I can still then use a proficiency scale to rank the actual tasks so I can know clearly where to place that data or that scoring data when it comes to a report card.